what is environmental, social, and governance, and why are companies focused on this? At the end of the day, it's really sort of a set of standards, a set of criteria that investors ultimately can use to, to make decisions, right, about investing. It is very much often overlooked um, by a lot of folks in the finance and accounting world because it sort of seems unrelated. But to your point, you're talking about governance. So right out of the gate, you're talking about reporting and metrics. But mm -hmm. here's the thing. As you take it up a level, this is one of the best ways in the modern era for accountants to really link to the performance of an organization because it is now being labeled. Uh, McKinsey has some research out there from 2,000 academics that talk about things that range from cost of capital to um, investors refusing to invest kind of thing. So it's about a brand. It's about in internal costs of capital and control mechanisms. It's about business performance now. It's not just this sort of random social consequence, right? There are legit cost components to just being uh, social and sustainable and, and taking care of these things. And then there are all those indirect related costs that organizations that are not high on ESG compliance have to endure. That said, I did see an Accenture study recently that said 68% of executives said that the ultimate ownership around ESG lies with finance. ESG is an example of a real opportunity for finance and accounting professionals to do really meaningful work that has a direct impact on how their organizations interact with the communities around them and how they deliver value to their investors. And so we go back to that component of sure. what does Blackline do? We can deliver capacity back to your organization to do what? Focus on ESG. Why is that? 10% cost of capital reduction.